Welcome back to the Love Fix. Today's subject will be stop seeking those who reject you. In this case, your ex. If you've been enjoying the content, I'd really love it if you hit subscribe and give me a like. It would really help the channel out. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Over the last two weeks, I've had a lot of coaching clients and I've had a lot of emails. And one thing that's been coming up quite regularly is the dumpies. And I'm assuming you're a dumpy right now because you're listening to this video are seeking validation from their abusers and from their exes. So this is a worrying trend because we are seeking validations from the people that cast us out. Now, biologically speaking, this is actually a normal response. Our natural survival instincts kick in. Our brains and our subconscious will tell us, hey, go back to the place where you last felt safe and secure. And Naturally, that is with your ex. Unfortunately, this also has a very bad habit of putting your ex on a very, very high pedestal and we start to overvalue them. So by now, you've placed them so high up on the pedestal, they've become this Greek god or goddess, this holier-than-thou character that can do no wrong. But flip the script. They're just a regular person like you and I. They have morning breath. They have bad habits like anyone else. They have contributed to the breakup as well, barring any abuse or cheating from your end. And I'm assuming that you're a good person and you absolutely contributed to the breakup. Maybe you guys are just not compatible for whatever reason, but they also contributed to the breakup. They put their 50% in. They walked away when they could have worked with you. They chose to leave you when they could have gone to counselling. They chose not to listen to you and your side of events. So ask yourself, why do you want validation from that person? That person who chose to walk away, that person who cast you out. Why do you want validation from the person who rejected you? And I challenge you to think of it like this. Now imagine a time when you saw your friend with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever. And you look at them, you think, yeah, they're really happy together. I'm not too sure what they see in each other because that, that's not my cup of tea. They're just a regular person to, to me. I don't think they're anything special. So try and have this attitude with your ex. And also think about it. Most people, most people will have the same attitude towards your ex just because now their perceived value is a lot higher than yours. No, most people that they come across will actually think they're just a normal human being. They're average. They don't see anything special in them. So you may be scared that your ex is moving on, is dating other people, or is even in a rebound relationship right now. However, it's highly unlikely because let me put it to you this way, and this is how I'm going to set it to you. Let's imagine that you've met 100 people in your life. Okay, male, female, transgender, it doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. And you've dated, had a relationship or slept with 10 of those people. You've had some kind of romantic involvement, more than friends, with 10 of those people. And the other 90%, the other 90 people, you're not compatible with. You were not attracted to them beyond anything more than friends. You dismissed them. You rejected them. That means in your life, on average, you're only compatible romantically with 10% of the people that you meet. That means 90% of the people that you meet, you're going to reject. And your ex will do the same thing. 90% of the people that they meet, they will reject. And 90% of the people that meet them will reject her or him. So think about it logically. Do not put them on a pedestal because they are just as imperfect as you are. And I can use my ex as an example. There were many, many things that I loved about her that I cared for and I thought were admirable and I found attractive. However, there were also a lot of things that drove me nuts, that drove me crazy and were very unattractive about her. But I get it. We look at the past through rose-tinted goggles. We tell ourselves the stories that we want to hear. And naturally speaking, that's okay, I, I get it. We shared a lot with this person. 
We shared emotions, stories, our bodies, our intimacy, our deepest thoughts. At one time, they loved you more than anybody else. And at one time, you loved them more than anybody else. So it's very easy to slip into that mindset. Well, how the hell was anybody else going to love me as much as they did? It's simple. You work on you. You take them off the damn pedestal and you flip the script. I want you to understand that you are worthy. You are attractive enough. You attracted your ex when you first got with them. They were very attracted to you. Everything that you did attracted them to you. Now, there could be a million reasons why attraction has been lost. Okay, sometimes we just grow apart and we're only meant to go so far with someone. But if you did it that one time, you can do it again. But you must turn this energy inward. You must work on yourself. You must give yourself self-love. Understand your worth and value and get back to that person that you were before your ex, that attractive, exciting, outgoing person that attracted them in the first place. If you attracted that one person, you can attract other people that will find your qualities just as, just as attractive, if not more. There are 7 billion people on this planet. Take your damn pick because there is a lot of people. And going back to my 10% analogy earlier, 10% of 7 billion people is a lot of people. I can't work that number out in my head right now, but it's, a, it's in the millions, I'm sure it is. So I'm going to wrap this up now and leave you with these final words. Get out there and reclaim what is rightfully yours. And that is yourself, you. Go and get you back. Do all the crazy great things that you used to do before your ex that attracted them. And understand this, your ex is average at best. Living on an average planet circling an average star and is average to 90% of the people that they will ever meet. They are nothing special to 90% of the population that they will individually meet throughout their lives. So if you think about that, you flip the script, you throw out the pedestal, you will realize that your value is far higher than what is perceived right now as always i'll see you on the other side